Hello again, this is Gabriel from TruePixel and today I'm going to show you how to create a fast studio rendering for your object or your product in Cinema 4D. Here we can see that I have created some objects, some balls, and I want to render them as cool as possible. So if I render it right now, we see that there are no settings and no lights and nothing in the scene so it doesn't look quite so good. Let's see how we can create a studio for rendering this kind of objects. At first I will group these and hide them for a while. We have an empty space. First we need to create a cube that will be big bigger than the default one we need this as a surface where we can place our objects so for it we will need a floor and a back wall we will make it editable and we must delete the front wall the ceiling and the sides. Now, in order to see a smooth background with uh, no edge here, like no corner, I will have to round this corner using the line selection and right click and bevel. We can add more to the subdivision field here, let's say eight. And we can select the points. We can take these corners and make the surface a bit longer. So now we have a studio surface we can place our objects on let's render it still not quite there we will need a camera some lights and of course we need to adjust our render settings for the entire file. Let's first move the new studio. Let's place it under our objects. There you go. And let's choose a nice angle for a render. Let's say this one and create a camera. And now let's add some quick render settings that I'm always using for a quick scene in Cinema 4D. Anti-aliasing, choose the best setup here. Then add ambient occlusion from the effects menu. Then add the global illumination from the effects menu. Here you can adjust the gamma, make it bigger, 2.2. Here you can choose the quasi mode Monte Carlo and here you can choose the radiance cache or light mapping but let's go with the radiance cache for now. Now we have added some render settings to our scene let's see how it looks. Well it's dark because we don't have a light. For start, we can simply add a light from here, but since this is a studio rendering, we need some trick that is better than just adding a light. And that trick will be a plane, a simple plane, 
and we will make this plane a light source. For that, we will need a material that, if you double click on it, we have the luminance channel. We add this, we check the box. We don't need reflectance on this one. We add the luminance. Let's raise this number to 150. And here in the illumination setting, we must check this GI area light box. This means that our global illumination GI will take in consideration that this is a light source, this material. Now we will apply this material on the new plane. We will make two of them, copy and paste. Select them both, make them a bit bigger. Raise them higher. Then we will rotate them a bit like this. And then adjust them so they can we can uh, we can realize they're like pointing our objects we will rotate them to face our objects there now if i go back into the camera and i render it we see our scene has some light in it and it actually renders something So here is the rendered scene. We see that it looks nice. We have some cool light reflections here, but the background looks a bit dull. So let's fix that. We need to create a new material that's a white. Double click on it. Make it a clean white. Add a reflection channel. That's a new layer for the default specular one. It adds reflection. It's too much if we leave it like this. So we will need to shrink this a bit. The attenuation would be additive. So it should add the reflection to our primary color, the white. And let's make a 10% roughness here just to not be so glossy. I think this is too much. Okay. Now we'll take this new material and apply it on our studio floor. Let's see how it looks now if we render it. Now we can see it already looks better. If there are some elements in the scene that you don't want or you want to boost the light even more or add some extra lights, you can do that very easily. For example, we have here some reflections of the two planes that we added and we don't want to see them. And we can just edit the floor material and turn off the reflectance, leave it just as a white surface. We can also add an extra light. Let's say we add a spotlight and we'll put it above turn it so it can illuminate the projects and the products we have. We can put it here and we can edit the light so it, it isn't 100%. We can just go for 50%. We can add a nice shadow from uh, the shadow tab here. You can also change the color of the light. Let's say you want to make it a warm color. Then go back to your camera, adjust it a little bit. And your scene is done. You just need to check the output path, choose your resolution, choose your name, your extension here, and just render the final picture. So here we go. This is your simple studio for rendering products and objects in Cinema 4D. You can group it just to have it as a 
ready studio that you want to use in other projects or you can bring your objects here and render them in this scene that you already have the settings for call it studio and here it is a simple studio for rendering in cinema 4d i hope you enjoyed this short tutorial i hope you'll have cool results and please subscribe to my channel follow my next videos and see what's up